All you're going to work on is just making sure you're doing two things here, okay? We are going to be getting into a proper blocking position first, okay? The two things are getting down with our eyes down below the bottom of this tape so we're getting a maximal jump, okay? And then two, pressing as soon as you get higher than the tape, okay? So don't go straight up and then press, but as soon as you start coming up, you're going to start penetrating right there, okay? Do five jumps straight on right now. Go. In a row. Good job. Now what I want you to do is to go up and I want you to turn your right hand in. Okay, so we're turning our right thumb up, we're turning our pinky down, our left hand is staying flat and our hands are staying together, but we're going to go in we're going to try and cut off this angle here. Okay, so as a right side blocker maybe you're working on not getting used here by turning this hand in and cutting off their ability to use that outside hand. Okay, go. Keep your hands together. I got to see... Ten fingers all together here. We want that black stand strong. All right, good. So we're going to practice this dropping of the hand a little bit more here, okay? And we're going to do that by just going one-handed blocking, okay? So Brandon and I, Brandon's going to be on that box. I'm going to be on this box. Half of you are going to be going here, okay? And if Jacy's going to demonstrate this for us, okay, ball. She's just going to go up with her right hand. And she's going to turn it in. I'm going to try and go off this hand and get that ball to drop right back into here. Okay? It's going to be really important here that you keep your shoulders parallel to the net. Okay? JC could really try to turn it in, so reach your right hand up. Just your right hand. Just don't even jump yet. Okay? Reach your right hand up. Okay? Now really try to reach it and let your, le let your left shoulder come back. Let's go. Okay, so right now, if she really tries to do that, what's going to happen with her other hand? It's going to come off the net, right? We don't want that to happen. So keep your, your shoulders parallel right alongside the net here, okay? But just re really reach with that left hand to reach over, okay? Keeping your shoulders parallel. And this hand is going to be flat, but it's just going to be down here. Make sense? Let's do it. Come on. That's it. That's the way. Jump. Good job. There you go. Good job, Courtney. Good job. Good job. Turn that in. That ball to go back in here. That's the way. There you go. You get the other hand up. Make sure your shoulders are staying parallel. Inside hand is flat. Outside hand is turned. Pinky down, thumb up, penetrate just a little bit more with that outside hand, cut off that angle, okay? We are going to be aiming for both hands, okay? So we're trying to find the seam in between the, the, seam in between the two hands, but we want to see these balls come back down and inside of the court here, okay? Here we go. Perfect. Good. That's it, Court. That's it. But what I want you to be thinking about here is being absolutely aggressive blockers. Okay? So we're going to work on just going up and reaching across and trying to take those angles away from, from the hitters. You're going to block three balls in a row. The first one is going to be straight on. The second one, you're going to have to drop your right hand. The third one, you're going to have to drop your left hand. Okay? We're going to be trying to, trying to go off of those hands. So the, the first one, you want that ball to just drop straight in front of you. The next one, you're going to reach with your right. I'm going to be trying to play it off your right. You want that ball to go back in here. The next one, you want that ball to go back into that, that direction. Okay? But get into your mind. You're not just putting your hands up there for the sake of putting your hands up there. Okay? You're putting your hands to take away those angles. Okay? So really reach those hands across. If you get in the net, if you get a net violation on this, I don't care right now. I just want you thinking aggressively, being aggressive, getting your hands over that. Okay? Do it with a purpose. Don't just put your hands up. Do it with a purpose. Okay? Let's take angles away. Here we go. Ready? Straight. Right. Drop that right. Drop that left. Yes, that's the way. Good. Middle. Drop the right. Drop the left. 
middle. Come on. Big fingers, okay? You guys are just going up there like this. Let's go. Big fingers. Go middle again. Middle. Right. Stop. Away, Clark. Left. Stop. Middle. Reach. Yeah, you got it. Right. Now, you went like this, okay? I need you to stay disciplined. Okay, keep your hands inside your shoulder line. Okay, okay. okay to the right. <laughs> to the left. Okay. Middle. Danger. To the right. Big, ah, sorry. There it is. Come on. Middle. To the right. Ah, gosh. Let's go again. Middle. Middle. To the right. To the left. Go. Good job. Ladies, be aggressive here, okay? Get over that net. Take those angles away. Think about going and getting that ball before I've even hit it, okay? Be aggressive. Go get it. Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Try again. One more. There you go. Go get it. Go get it. There you go. When you guys are pin blocking here, okay, or middles, when you feel like you can get a read on that hitter's arm swing and you feel like she's going to go one way or the other, all you got to do is just drop that hand. Don't try to make a big move with these hands, okay? I don't want the hands getting outside of our body line. Just make a turn with the hand and cut off that angle. Again, look at, if I turn right here, look how many additional inches of penetration I'm getting just with this hand, okay? You can do it, so just get around that and take away that angle from her, okay? 